If you're anything like us, you're closely following the royal family as news of the Queen's demise and King Charles inheriting the throne is all over the internet and on social media platforms. But what if we tell you that the recently ascended King Charles is a vampire? Some might laugh, while others may be genuinely interested in this theory. None, however, come close to the concept of what or who King Charles truly is. A vampire! That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The recently crowned king is rumored to be a vampire. So let's see how and why this theory started. The royal family has connections to several countries across Europe, including Romania, and it turns out that King Charles is a real-life Dracula descendant. Charles III owns several properties in Transylvania and is the heir to Vlad the Impaler's bloodline. The relationship appears to be his great-grandmother, Mary of Tech, who was queen under King George V and was the grandmother of the country's former monarch, Queen Elizabeth II. The liner Queen Mary was named after Mary, a Württemberg princess who was thought to be descended from two of Vlad's sons. King Charles learned of his connections to the King of Romania, Vlad, in 1998. The ruthless prince is infamous for impaling his enemies on stakes and showing cruelty. He is credited with inspiring Bram Stoker's Count Dracula. After a battle in 1462, Vlad left a field covered with thousands of dead bodies. The suspicion of King Charles being a vampire only increased when he promoted a television show influenced by his fascination and interest in Transylvania, Romania in 2011. However, there is not much in common between these two rulers. Prince Charles is not recognized for the same types of behavior as the Romanian prince, who was accused of torturing and practicing sadism on thousands of victims. Contradicting his relation to Vlad the Impaler, the king has no desire to draw blood. In fact, the king bought land in Transylvania to be there and has long tried to safeguard the forests. The only thing King Charles did was promote his ideas for the nation's future and advocated for his protection using his ancestry from Vlad the Impaler. That doesn't seem so bad, right? Beginning as Prince of Wales and King of the British Throne, King Charles is the bearer of various Roman titles. There was such happiness when it was announced in the last few years that a Romanian mayor had given Charles the title of Prince of Transylvania. However, it was almost suspicious how he phrased the land in his description. He referred to Transylvania as a national treasure because of its untouched scenery and centuries-old rural farming traditions during his recent visit to Romania a few years back. Centuries old? How does he know that? Didn't he get too precise in his description? Is he seriously been on this planet since then? Oh no, seems like someone just revealed their true identity. Whatever the case may be, the king is now the center of attention. And if he really is a vampire, no one else will be taking over the throne anytime soon. What are your thoughts about this? Do you think the king is a vampire? Or do you think it's just another wild theory? Tell us your thoughts in the comment box below. We'll see you next time.